So I've been getting a lot of requests on the uh, Tacoma sled loader here. So it's a pretty simple system. I add these two little rollers down to the receiver. These lock pins are necessary when you go to load so that uh, the ramp doesn't push up and flip up. I actually had it go up and hit my bay door one day when I was loading. I just do a basic tie down through one A-arm and then ratchet strap it in and one over the back. Ratchet strap it in. I'm sure there's a lot of ways that you could be tying this in here. But it's just a basic sled ramp that I skiddied up to fit on the floor. And then there's two more rollers up on the front of the ramp there. And uh, I'll show you when I pull it off here. I haven't had any problems with snow holding it into place. Just the rollers can stick. I put a board at the front to hold it back so the rollers don't roll into the front channel there. But it rolls fairly easy. A little bit of work. So the stop points here that bump into those rollers, those are important as well to get a balance point. You don't need these uprights. I just use them to indicate where my skis are when I load. These rollers have a cheap plastic bushing in them to hold the bearings. I'm looking to replace these with something higher quality. Um, they're about 20 bucks a piece at Princess Auto. Cheap and easy. Easy enough to replace every year. You can see how the rollers, if they go too far forwards, they sit in that channel. It makes it a lot tougher to pull out at the start there. So add, when I go to unload it, I just tip it up, carry it over the stoppers. The uprights are also nice because it helps it stand there. folks give you a close-up on that that height is just set to be about an inch above my tailgate ramp rollers like I say pretty straightforward there guys